Okay, so in this problem we're told a storage tank contains 21.6 kilograms of nitrogen, N2, at an absolute pressure of 3.85 atmospheres. What will be the pressure if the nitrogen is replaced by an equal mass of CO2 at the same temperature? So start off with our given. So we're given the mass of uh, the nitrogen, right, N2 that we're adding, or that's in the tank, 21.6 kilograms. And we're also given the pressure, right, and what we're trying to find is the new pressure, right? So we can just say P equals question mark since we're solving for pressure. Uh, if the nitrogen is going to be replaced with a new uh, an equal mass, right? So 21.6 kg of CO2. So we know we're going to be replacing it with a mass of CO2 of the same thing, 21.6 kg. So how are we going to solve for this? So the way we're going to do it is by using the ideal gas law, which tells us PV equals NRT. So keep in mind that the volume is going to be constant because we're dealing with a storage tank, right? And the, and the tank isn't going to change size. So V is going to be constant. R is just a constant value. It's just a, uh, right? It just depends on what units you're using, but it's just a constant value. And then the temperature they tell us is also going to be staying the same. So what we know is that P is going to be, right, is going to be dependent on the number of moles, which is n. n is the number of moles here. And so what we're going to find is the ratio of basically n2 to CO2, and that's going to change our new pressure from our old one. So I think it's easier if you see how this is done. Um, but first, what we need to do is find the number of moles of CO2 and n2, right? Even though they have the same mass, they're going to have a different number of moles uh, because the molar mass, which is basically just a conversion factor between uh, grams to moles, is different. So starting off with MN2, we know it's equal to 21.6 kg, right? And we know that 21.6 uh, kilograms is, or to convert it into grams, we know that one kg is a thousand grams. That's what you should know at least. Uh, the K just means a thousand. So this is basically 21,600 grams, okay? That's the amount of grams of N2 we have. Uh, and then now we need to find the number of moles. You need to know now that uh, there, basically if you type in molar mass of N2, you'll find out what it is. But essentially for every one mole of N2, there's 28 grams. So uh, you basically are just doing or dividing by 28 to get it in now moles of N2. So 21.600 divided by 28, that'll give you 771.4. Uh, moles of N2. So now we have the number of moles of N2, we need to do the same thing with CO2. So once again, we have, so it's 21.6 kg. Uh, once again, that's 21,600 grams. And so keep in mind, this is of CO2. This was grams of N2. And so uh, this would be N2, you could write there too. Uh, but essentially, we know, or that you need to know for this one, that the uh, molar mass of CO2, if you look it up, it's 44 uh, grams, right, for every single one mole CO2. So in this case, you're going to be dividing by 21,600, or sorry, 21,600 by 44, and you will get 490.9, so about 491. This is of mole uh, CO2. And so now what I want you to see is that we know the pressure, right, is 3.85 uh, V, which is just a constant, so it doesn't really matter, we don't have to write it, uh, is equal to uh, with a N of 771.4. And then you're basically just imagining that you're multiplying it by some value. And so the 3.85 is based off that. But we know that now we're going to have... 490.9. So the number of moles are actually going to decrease. And if this number decreases, right, we know that this value is going to decrease, right? If you just look at the equation, if this, if the number of moles decrease, your uh, pressure is also going to decrease. But how much is going to decrease? Well, it's going to be at a ratio of moles of CO2. So basically 490.9 over 771.4, right? That's what it's going to change by. So 3.85 times 
times this is going to give us the change. And you can kind of imagine it in uh, this way right here, which basically the pressure P1 over N1 equals P2 over N2. So this is the formula you can use, assuming that uh, temperature and volume, uh, the volume is constant. So P1 is the pressure, 3.85, divided by the number of moles, which is 771.4, equals our new pressure, divided by uh, 490.9. And so multiplying both sides by this, you'll see that we have this formula right here. So I just kind of wanted to show you intuitively, though, because I think it's important to understand. Uh, but yeah, you can also just use this formula, assuming those are constant. Uh, but yeah, so it just approve, uh, decreases at a constant ratio relative to the number of moles. Um, so yeah, you're just going to do uh, 3.85 times 490.9 divided by 771.4. So 3.85 times uh, 490.9 divided by 771.4. Now I'm going to be using the exact value here, but you're going to get about 2.45 and then Keep in mind the units of pressure we're using are atmospheres, so this one's also going to be in atmospheres. Uh, but yeah, so it basically just use the ratio of the number of moles, assuming everything else is constant. Uh, but yeah, so 2.45 atmospheres, that's going to be the uh, pressure if we change from 21.6 kg of uh, uh, N2 to CO2. But uh, yeah, so 2.45 atmospheres, that's going to be your answer. And uh, hopefully you found this uh, video useful.